Well, good afternoon. My name is Eric Oje. I am going to be your host this afternoon um, for this uh, ABS webinar. Some of you uh, are brand new. I haven't seen your names before, so I thank you for joining us and thank you for looking into the ABS model. Uh, we're going to uh, hopefully answer some of your questions. This hour, we'll not be able to answer all of your questions. So, but it might spark more questions for you to write down. I know that you're probably working with one of the business coaches here at American Business Systems. So, if you've got questions, today and you want to write them down, feel free to do that. If you want to put them over here in the Q&A box, you can do that as well. I'm going to monitor that throughout the uh, presentation this afternoon. So uh, just make sure that uh, you've got that taken care of. I'm going to stop showing this one thing real quickly because I'm going to uh, see if I can make sure that I've got some sound set up here because there's one little video I want to play for you there. I think I've got it back back on there for us. All right. So let's see if anybody else has shown up here. Yeah, we got some more folks. Uh, Tamika, good to see you. And uh, Yannick, good to see you. Good to have all everybody on here. Uh, so again, uh, welcome to the uh, Wednesday webinar. Let's get started here. Again, my name is Eric Oje. I'll be your host this afternoon. We're going to go through a lot of information. So first thing I want to, again, draw your attention to is where the Q&A box is. So you see that little Q&A down at the bottom of your screen. Hopefully you can find that. If you don't mind, uh, just tell us where you're calling in from. I like to kind of know where, where everybody is uh, attending from this afternoon. So if you're in the West Coast, put whatever state that you're in over there. If you're in the kind of the mid region of America, put it there. Uh, you East Coasters, put it whatever state that you're calling in from from over there. That kind of helps me kind of see where everybody's from. Because, folks, we've had people from around the world on these webinars. So it's kind of fun. It, I think it's kind of fun whenever we find out when we've got uh, that we are got global attention here. So so we got uh, Tamika from South Carolina. Good to see you. Alex is from Texas. Uh, Diane is from Florida. Okay, so we've got the the East Coast and the mid coast, the mid Midwest area kind of uh, taken care of. Let's see if we got anybody out there that's from the California area or Washington or even as far out as Hawaii. So let's see if we got anybody out there. So you can just type in your Q and A box there. Just tell me where you're from, what state you're located. That'll be helpful. We've got some more folks that just joined in here, so be sure to put that in there. Uh, Ebony's from Maryland. There we go. There we go. Michael's from Long Beach, California. Good, good to have you. Shahid's from California, Amir's from California, and Las Vegas. So there we go. We got everybody covered here. All right. So thank you for doing that uh, again for us. I'm going to, uh, obviously, some of you might know who I am. I am uh, part of American Business Systems, been a part of ABS for a little over 16 years. I'm going to go on 17 years here uh, in 2024. It's amazing how quickly time does fly here. Uh, I've done just about everything here at ABS, but one of the things I love to do the mo most is obviously be here with you on these webinars. So again, today we're going to talk about why is ABS the best low-cost medical billing business model that's out there, and I'll hopefully be able to share that with you and why that's, that's even, that's that's good there. So what I'm going to do here I'm going to populate this next screen here, and this is a little video. Uh, you may not recognize this lady, but let me tell you about it before I start her video. Her name is Dr. Vicki Rackner. Dr. Rackner is part of American Business System as one of our, um, we call her our chief medical officer. She is uh, on the board of MRMA. I'm going to share with you about MRMA here in a moment. She's written a book called The Myth of the Rich Doctor. Uh, it's a great book. If you'd like to go get grab it, you can go out there and grab it on Amazon if you like a real copy of the book. Uh, obviously, as we kind of get close to the end of the year, I always like to give things away. If you'd like to get a copy of this as a PDF, get back with your business coach and say, hey, Eric mentioned about getting a PDF of the myth, myth of the rich doctor. Uh, this is a great study tool for you as you're kind of learning to figure out if you're going to get in this business or not. So I'd, I'd encourage you to do that. But she has a little message here that she, she made for us uh, a few months back. And I thought I'd play it for you as we uh, kind of get started things here. So let me see if I can get this started. Congratulations for finding the American Business Systems site. You're probably looking for a great business opportunity and you have found one. I'm Dr. Vicki Rackner. I call in my experience as a practicing surgeon and entrepreneur to help doctors thrive. What I can tell you 
is that while doctors are smart people, they don't have a great business savvy. So the services that ABS offers can literally help doctors turn their practices and their lives around. This is a viable growing market. Not only that, Patrick Phillips and Adam Phillips have a true commitment to the success of the people who join the ABS family. I think you can't go wrong here. So it's a little bit from her there, just to kind of let you know that uh, you're talking and dealing with someone that is has been a surgeon. Uh, you might be able to go out there. I know that you not might. You I know that you can go out there and you can find uh, interviews that I've done with Dr. Rackner, some that Patrick has done with Dr. Rackner, and I think even some that uh, Adam Phillips has done with Dr. Rackner out there. She is an integral part of your success, and I'm going to show you why here in just a little bit as we kind of go through this because. You know, if if we're if we're just kind of just wanting to try to figure out how how does this playing field look out there in business opportunities slash franchises uh, out there? Which one's the best one? How do I how can I trust one over the other uh, or multiple ones that may be out there? Why do I why would ABS be uh, one of the top ones I'd like to look at? Number one. ABS has been around for 30 years. Uh, we are celebrating 30 years, obviously, in January. So this is an exciting time for us as we kind of close out our 29th year uh, and, and complete 30 years in business. And it all started with the, the Patrick uh, Phillips family here. I'm going to show them to you. So I'm gonna, for some of you who have uh, never been on any of our webinars, I kind of like to share a little bit of the history of how things got started. And as you can see here, this is your young Patrick Phillips over to your left, Linda Phillips over there to your right. In the middle is Adam Phillips and his little sister uh, down there, Sarah. Well, obviously, this was taken many years back. Uh, but since then, uh, at, Patrick has helped grow this business as the founder uh, and the owner of American Business Systems. And he, obviously, at that one point, he was the CEO of, of American Business Systems. Uh, but he has kind of gone back and retired a little bit and uh, taken life easy. Uh, obviously, you can imagine over 30 plus years because folks, they were actually doing billing before they started American Business System. So this is how it all got started because Linda was asked by uh, a friend of theirs who was selling durable medical equipment, uh, which are, you know, your potty chairs and all sorts of stuff like that. And he had asked Linda, hey, uh, I, I, my biller that I used to have has just recently quit. I'm looking for someone to do this for me. You think you can do it? And she goes, well, I guess so. I've never done it before, but if you can kind of show me what to do, I'm sure I can do it. And at that time, they were homeschooling. So she felt like, you know, working from home was the best thing. Well, that's what happened. And so, um, you know, after they got started, Patrick saw what was going on. He said he thought, wow, let's go see if we can get a few more doctors to do their billing. And that's what happened. They And then uh, they had some people kind of come through and go, well, you know, um, how are you guys making all this money? And obviously, Patrick told them and he started teaching them and then. He says, well, this, we could sell this as a business package here, a business opportunity. And so obviously that's how it all began there. Since then, Adam has uh, recently taken over for his dad, Patrick. I mean, Adam worked for uh, Patrick for f several years uh, before uh, he kind of moved up, you kind of think of through the ranks here. Uh, and he is still now uh, now as the CEO of the company. He has uh, written several books. Uh, he has set, written several articles that go into magazines. But one of the greatest things I think Adam has done is to help create an organization called MRMA. Now, this is, this is the Medical Revenue Management Association of America. And the reason this is important for you is because once you launch out of the gate here, and you've got your certification, as I'll show you right here, because it's Murma who actually produces and, and, and certifies you as a certified medical revenue manager. Now, once you've, once you've gone through our training, you get certified, you're automatically part of an association. You're able to put 
the, your credentials behind your name, CMRM, and that you're a part of uh, the nation's largest group of independent medical billers, which is MRMA, the Medical Revenue Management Association of America, in which Dr. Vicki Rackner is the chief medical officer of. And there's some other folks that are on the board of directors there. Uh, some of them are some of our technology partners that have that have joined us and uh, helped create this. So now, and when you're going out and you're trying to get your business going and, and the doctors are asking you, well, tell me how long have you been in business or who are you associated with? You can say, well, uh, I've been with Murma, who's been around for over 30 years. Uh, I'm part of this particular organization. They certified me as a certified medical revenue management company. And um, and then some people always ask, well, what about referrals? You can get referrals through there. So this is an organization, obviously, you want to be a part of. Uh, because people were used to ask us, well, can I carry the ABS name or the ABS logo? And that that wouldn't have been, you know, from a business standpoint, wouldn't have been a great business move there because people would find out that, you know, obviously ABS is a business opportunity, but we're more than that. We're we're your we're your we are your support team. We're everything that you need to know back behind the scenes. So as we get through this training, this I mean the the webinar this afternoon, you're going to find out how much support that you're actually going to have. And it all begins with having a decent platform. There are some other companies out there who have created their own platform. And you know what? We want to take our hats off to them because it's it's a lot to try to figure out how to build a, a medical billing program out there. Uh, what we've found to be better is to partner with someone who this is that's all that they do. It's not like we we're trying to develop software and then trying to sell a business opportunity and or even try to do medical billing. We are we are here to support you in your training and support, giving you the tools that you need to get your business up and going. So several years back, we we ended up partnering with NextGen, but we kind of did that in a, in a roundabout way because we actually partnered with a group called Health Fusion at first, who had iClaim and EMRX for us. They began to white label it for just our group of people here. But then NextGen thought it was so great, they went out there and purchased the Health Fusion, and then they grandfathered us right into, into their program and everything and all their support that they have. Our ABS business owners, are a part of that. So this you're 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 greater than just having uh, software out there and then and then trying to figure out maybe how to how to load the software on your on your computer. Uh, if you're like me, gosh, I don't even have a CD player or a DVD player on any of my uh, computer equipment anymore. So because everything is in the clouds, and so having a secured cloud based. Uh, billing system and electronic medical record system is obviously the way to go because obviously NextGen thought it was so great that they ended up buying it. So this is this is a, so advantageous for you because you can run it on any program, any platform. It doesn't matter if it's a Mac or whether it's a Windows type unit or a Google type of unit. It just doesn't matter. It, it simply works and you always have everything updated. You're never having to worry about plugins or anything else. Now, Aside of that, you've got uh, a Viaclaim and EMRX. You have all these different services. We actually thought about when we were doing this, preparing for this webinar, we thought about trying to break down each of these services and what would it would cost you to, if you were just going out there and starting on your own, what would it cost you to go out there and 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 have professional coders that are part of your program or a, a uh, compliancy, HIPAA compliancy uh, program or service with you or virtual care, which not many people even know about and don't even have there, but it's a very integral part of revenue cycle management, uh, quick collect or auto card or choice pay. And then we have others, you know, if your doctor needs get some credentialing done, we've got that. So, and then we're always adding new services to the program. So if you were to calculate all that up, it's probably still with, with American businesses and being, you know, just under $30,000, that's why we call it the best low cost medical billing business model that there is out there, because you're not having to go out there and purchase these things individually or connect with them or write agreements with anybody out there. We've got everything for you. Everything gets set up. Now, one, one of the things that I'm going to encourage you to do, if you haven't done this already, 
is to make sure that you download the five secrets to success. Simple process. You just go to our website, click that big blue button up at the right hand corner. You'll fill out a little bit of information, your first name, last name, your email address. Just click and we're going to send it to you immediately. What that does, we already, if you're here at this webinar, we already got, we already have your contact. So all this is, is going to give you the link to be able to get that and, and be able to download that PDF. And inside there, you're going to see a lot of things of what we're going to do to help you learn how to get your first client. Now, probably what I'm going to do at the first part of December is go through each of these five secrets again, just in detail so that you get it. So if you'll get it today, it'll give you a couple of weeks before we uh, go through this particular webinar again. And at least you'll have some information so you can kind of go along with that. So with all those kind of introductions and the history out, out beside us, and we've already got all that taken care of, let's jump right on here and let's talk about why ABS is the best low-cost medical billing business uh, opportunity that's out there. Well, number one, let's first talk about the difference between a business opportunity and a franchise. Obviously, a franchise usually is going to be way more than uh, just under thirty thousand dollars it's going to be probably double that if not triple that um plus with franchises you you're going to have to have uh, uh royalty fees or some uh, other types of fees to go along with it uh, and then you're kind of locked in with color schemes and having to stick within those boundaries there now with a business opportunity like we have set up here at abs this gets you a little bit more freedom because uh you can create your own obviously your own name of your company uh, and nobody out there in the real world knows that you're being supported by American business systems or Murma back behind the systems. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. They just think that you're a large medical billing company that has the access to professional coders or HIPAA compliancy, or like I said, virtual care devices and, and things that are out there like that. They're so far beyond just being able to do a little mom and pop and, and then trying to pull all that together. Plus, it's a one-time fee. It's the one-time fee. There's no franchise fees. There's no royalty fees. That includes all of your training. It includes all of your marketing material. It includes a lifetime of support. Uh, and I'm going to show you folks here in just a moment just a um, how recently we just did some of our new, uh, some training for some of our business owners just this last week. I mean, it's it's so it's it's so relevant and it's so uh we're we're on top of things so i'm going to be able to let you see that a little bit behind the scenes here in just a moment but first of all that's a little bit of a little of introduction but i thought what i wanted to kind of start off with you too is let's talk about is there a market because everybody wants to know how much longer can this medical billing opportunity really last now remember folks i told you that it was going on 17 years that I've been around with ABS that I first met Patrick Phillips and his family and and then obviously this business opportunity and uh whenever I was seeing it I was kind of like on your side I thought man this is great I don't see why this wouldn't work uh but then we all everybody has always through the years thought how much longer will this really last well what what if you can see here that this revenue cycle management market in the US uh, 2023 report just recently came out. You can see that by 2028, it's that's another five years down the road. And actually, this is a little bit behind because folks, th this this number keeps growing. It's in the almost in the three billion dollar mark there. But as you can see, this this is a a, a forecast growth, and this is at 11 percent annually. That's what that K C A C CAGR stands for. It's a it's a growth, uh, it's a growth rate that is compounded annual. It's a compounded annual growth rate of eleven point two percent. So that's that's almost that's what other market that's out there that has this type of growth and what it's going to. So you got to remember that. Uh, there are new doctors coming on board all the time. There are new businesses that are generated, partnerships that are created. You know, people that were independent doctors last year, now they want to create a little partnership, maybe a two or three doctors. Now they're expanding. Now they're going to try to figure out where they're going to office out of. Do they, do they have a, a biller that just does something on the inside? Do they outsource that billing? If you talk to Dr. Vicki Rackner and listen to some of her uh, webinars that we've done with her, because she's going to tell you what she's telling doctors. 
don't don't do billing in house. It's the it's the that's the worst thing really you can do financially. You want to get that building outside of your office. So having somebody like that really helps, but you can see that the growth is there. The, the other thing that she tells us is really, and this is kind of coming from a, an organization called Medical Association Foundation, that two out of three doctors say they are just squeaking by uh, or in the red financially. We've heard of doctors literally being on the cusp of uh, just trying to squeak by and then, you know, having to get, you know, loans just to simply pay payroll sometimes. This is what's going on there in the market. So there is an opportunity out there. And the New England Journal of Medicine states a medical uh, market analysis estimates that about 24 cents out of every do dollar are truly wasted on administrative and billing expenses. So that's a lot of money. So if you think that a doctor is bringing in one doc one dollar, 25, let's just call this rounded out at 25 cents is, is just wasted. I mean, we wouldn't say wasted, but because somebody's doing the billing, uh, but they're not doing everything. They, they, there's, there, there's a way to shorten that up and, and uh, get that done. So how about the doctor, instead of making, you know, 75 cents out of every dollar that they're, that they're pulling in, what if we could get that doctor up to, 85 to 95 per, the 90 cents per dollar that they're bringing in. See, see, that's that's what it gets down to. So those of you in, on here today that think, well, you know, Eric, I, I'm not a salesperson. I'm, I'm I've never sold anything in my life. What I want you to do is is pause that for a second because what I want you to understand here. It, once we sh help you understand that there's really no selling involved, but if you're really thinking about it, what are you really selling? If you think that you're selling your services, then you're starting off incorrectly. If you think about that you're selling the doctor back their money, that's the way to think about it. Because imagine if you could, at any given moment, tell the doctor, look, this is what I'm able and capable of doing. How about if I add another, you know, like like we were saying, if you if you got if you're bringing in one dollar at a time, but you know 25 cents of that is being utilized on administrative act, you know, whatever, you know. What if I could show you that, you know, I can get you to keep more of your money and I'm still doing your bill. And that's what the doctors want to know. And we've got a program that uh, I'll show you even in this webinar, how we calculate that and give that doctor as a proposal uh, to show them what you can be able to do. So what makes ABS the best? Well, number one, it's still under $30,000, <clears> excuse me. And it does come with so many different things. So obviously everything that I showed you there in the beginning, um, it comes with it, which includes your training and the software behind it and the support and everything that we're talking about here. This is what it's coming with. It's coming with everything that we talked about here. We never want to piecemeal anything for you that, you know, if you could enter in at this particular price or if you wanted the preferred price or you wanted the director price, we we never we never do this. So obviously, this is a little bit uh Later on, and then obviously these numbers went up at the first of the year with a competitor of ours. You can see that those numbers went up to, with the director's price, you know, nearly fifty thousand dollars. So we're not here to nickel and dime you. We want to make sure that you've got not just three years of training, as you can kind of see over there in the right hand corner. We've we've got as long as you're with us, we've got training and support. We're we're here, and this is how ABS has become the nation's largest network of medical billing companies because, and this is why we've been so successful. So again, we're here to help you and help you understand what you're getting out of American business systems. And so if you've got questions as we kind of go through this, feel free to jump in there and throw those to me. So what I want to do, I'm going to switch my share screen here real quickly, because I want to show you our licensee support site. This is what you're looking at right here. It's just a screenshot of it right now. But I wanted to take you over to it live because sometimes it's hard to grasp the depth of what you're getting. This alone, this support mechanism I'm about to show you, uh, and I'm going to switch it over to uh, uh, with a new... Um, Part of it here so this should take care of that and it should be on there so i'm actually you can see here i'm on our website on our licensee support site now, this is not a website that you can get to 
So this is a website that is a secured website for our business owners only. Uh, is it is password protected? So, but once you become a licensee or a, a business owner here at American Business Systems, you're going to get access to this. But one of the things I wanted to show you here, uh, actually, I'm gonna back it out to where it says the news, and uh, pull this back out here so you can see this. So you can see one of the latest things that we just did with our business owners. We talked about networking best practices webinar. We so we just had that happen. Uh, today's the fifteenth. It was just uploaded yesterday. So which means that this webinar took place this last Friday is what happened here. And so we've got all sorts of things. So you can see here uh, it was it was on actually on November the eighth. So again, that was just a few days ago. Uh, strategic ways of uh, how to build strategic partners, how to gain those partners. And all this is done by a, 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 a lady by the name of Diane Helbeg, uh, who was the presenter. And this is what she does for a living. This is, you know, she is, this is, a, she's a guru at this. Well, we're able to bring people in like this all the time. So think about yourself having to go to a conference every so often Often just to get updated information and all the things that you've got that you want to learn about. The ABS, American Business Systems, this is what we bring into you all the time. It could be two or three times a month. So you can see here, I'm, I'm right at that little part there, and, and you can see this was this was the actual webinar that that we did with our business owners just this last week. So uh, thrilled it. And I'm not going to play it, but you can just see networking best practices for business success. That's this is the kind of education that you're you're always getting, and you're never having to pay anything extra for it. That's what I'm saying. We we are always building up on your training. We are always here to train you and help support you and pull in the services that you need. All right, so Diane has just asked a question. What is the total number of licensed owners you have across the US? You know, Diane, it's a great question. Uh, obviously, we've had people that have come in this business. They built it up. They've Some, some have stole it. So it kind of has a fluctuation a little bit. But the latest numbers that I know that we have here is roughly about six, 625 uh, business owners that are still doing the business here with American Business System. Some have grown in to it. Some have still stayed with it. They've expanded their business uh, to other major things there. So there's a lot of them that are out there that are doing that. So thanks for that question here. But as we're still in this particular uh, at the ABS licensee support site, I want to kind of show you a few things here, uh, especially on the services. So all these services. So uh, you can see here, I'm going to scroll through through these. See all these services, whether it's a, a, a Pelio or auto auto card or choice pay code right and audit guard compliance guard credentials now denimax for those that want to do uh, dental billing doctables i claim emrx uh the quick collect uh some more training there virtual care you can learn more about that and additional services we're always adding more services so let's just say that you get in here at the the 28990 and all of a sudden, Adam has uh, and his team has put together another service for you to, to be able to use. They'll never come back and say, hey, we just added a new service. So if you'd like to have that service as part of your package, it's going to be another $1,000, $2,500, $5,000 for you to get that. That's never a time. So again, if we, if we were to go through all of these different services and say, you know what, if you were to do auto card alone, it's going to cost you X amount of dollars, or I claim it's going to cost you X amount of dollars, and then your training is going to be X amount of dollars, you know, we, we could exhaust ourselves to try to figure out what that really is. So we keep this, this cost down as low as we can for you. Then plus all the marketing materials that you get out of. Uh, you get the, all the direct mail marketing that you're going to need out of it. And, and, and that's kind of comes through this auto card part of it. And we can show you how to, how to do all that, but marketing with your books, uh, I'll show that to you here in just a moment, what that means. Uh, all of the flyers that you're going to get. So you're going to get a little over 2000 meta uh, marketing pieces, uh, for you to get your business started. Now, again, that's to get your business started. If you run out, 
get back with us. We've got those at cost for you. And when we're talking cost, we're talking dirt cheap cost there because we're not making any money. It's just, it's just making sure that we're just paying our printer to get them over to you. So that's what we, that's what we help you do. Uh, then the tools, all the different tools, the presentation folders, uh, all of your agreements. So if you, let's say that you're ready to start with a doctor and all of a sudden you're ready to start and you need a contract. Well, we've got all of your contracts. We've got your your BAAs already there for HIPAA. Uh, you know, let's say that you want to hire a sales rep. We've got the agreements for that. We've got email and letter templates for you. We've got an implementation process. All the, again, all the other different resources. Now you can get directly to Dr. Vicki Rackner. And I'm going to show you that here on a screenshot here, how you would be able to do that. So folks, just what's in the licensee support site alone. I, I could spend the rest of the time, which is we're at 28 minutes left on, on the webinar today. I could spend the rest of the time going through that, but I don't want to sell you short today of not giving you all the information that I wanted to share with you on the uh, through our presentation here. So let's move on to, to something like the online training. What does online training look like? Well, folks, your online training looks like now I did a pretty in-depth part of that, what that looks like last week, uh, how, how long it's going to take you. We kind of calculated that to be about 15 hours of training, but, but that, uh, that 15 hours of training is, um, more again than what you really are going to need because we've got more training that happens outside of the live training. But once you get through with this live training modules, these are live trainings. These are not recorded trainings. Uh, and these trainings are led by someone who is actually a business owner, has been a business owner with American Business Systems for quite some time. So she's going to share with you exactly how to go out there and get your first client. The reason I can tell you that, because she's still building her business. So what better way would you want? Would you want to have just some corporate trainer just trying to teach you something? And then obviously they may or may not have ever gone out there and built a business in medical billing. We're putting the best of the best for you on the on this training. But yes, we're we're using people who have been and are still business owners with American Business Systems, teaching you what you need to do to go out there and go build your business. And, and believe me, she's going to put some homework uh, tools together for you. So whenever you get through like modules one or two or three. By the time you get to the next one there, you've already got homework that you're having to do. Now, let me tell you the difference about the training that we have online and the way we used to do it. We used to bring everybody in here and it would be over a five day period. And it, that was trying to literally drink water from a fire hydrant. At least now we're able to break it up a little bit. It may take you 10 to 15 days to kind of get through all of this. And then, um, so it's going to have a little bit more time for you to digest and then kind of get some things going on. Uh, someone's just sent in another question here. Let me read it here. Uh, see if this is, if we can do this. Okay. So uh, after becoming a licensee, uh, Craig's asking us, am I able to hire a sales rep or two who can focus on acquiring new clients slash business? Uh, the meet and greet part. Yes. So I can focus on the back office side of business. You bet. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, you just saw earlier that we've got agreements that if you want to hire sales reps, you can do that. We've got those agreements out there uh, for you to do that. So uh, kind of getting back to the uh, answering or, or dealing with the live training, uh, training of it. Again, what I recommend you do, if you missed the webinar from last week, go back and watch it. Again, it's about an hour, but I do a very in-depth overview of each of those modules and what you're getting out of those modules. Now, let me tell you something else that you get that I'm going to tell you, folks. This next section I'm going to tell you about, I don't even know how you could put a price tag on this. All right, so what I'm showing you here is, and then obviously this is just a slide, but imagine that uh, you've got a doctor who's saying, yes, I'm ready to go, and I want to, but I want to see your system. Well, folks, this is what we do for you. Imagine having the experts on the ABS side demonstrating the software to your potential doctor. That's what we do. And again, that's at no additional charge for you. Uh, this alone helps you secure your first doctor. Once you get to a, a doctor to the position 
where they're wanting to see a demonstration. And again, there's a step-by-step -step process that you're going to learn during training to get that doctor to this point. We have kind of calculated that one out of every two demonstrations that we're doing for our business owners is a closing the deal. What that means is that you're getting the client. So again, being, being in the in the market that we're in as a business opportunity, we're not competing with you out there in the marketplace like some some others might be out there. They're doing some billing uh, and they're selling a business opportunity. Uh, and they get the advantage of saying, look, we, we do billing. We know what's going on, but so do we. We know what's going on with the billing so much so that we're going to we're going to do the demonstrations for you. That's that's our guarantee to you. Uh, so you're not going to be left to yourself to be able to do that. So that alone, folks, what would that, what would you pay to have someone do your demonstration and then literally bring that doctor to the close and uh, ready to sign on the dotted line? That has happened way too many times. Now, the other thing that you're getting here are, again, all the professional tools. Uh, now, if you were to take the time and have, obviously, Folks, you can see all the wording on there. Those aren't those goofy words that you see on a on a uh, templated thing where you got to go fill in all those words. These are already uh, well written uh, and, and to a point scientifically worded properly and laid out properly, and then branded in such a way that it keeps a consistency with everything that you're doing. Plus, you kind of see the two bookends there, the book of the New Thriving Medical Practice and Nine Ways Doctors Let Money Slip Through Their Fingers. These are all of your, your presentation information. And again, these are all these flyers are eight and a half by 11. They're high gloss. They're heavyweight. They're not anything that's cheap looking. Plus, there's room on there for you to put your contact information, your logo, uh, your business name. It's nowhere on it's going to say American Business Systems. That's the way that we get to kind of co-brand this or white label this for you. So it's consistent. It gives a, a, a presence of that you know what you're doing. Plus, it's all professionally done. All of this, th these marketing materials are professionally printed. They're not anything that you have to, it's not like you're going to get a file on the LSS from the LSS that you get to download some type of PDF and then you got to print it off on your laser jet printer or do it anywhere else. This is everything on there that you, you can have on there. Uh, Stetson says, can we remove ABS on the branded marketing uh, completely? The only thing that's there that might be a little bit addressed with the ABS part is just that little bitty three ring bank, uh, logo thing. But there's nothing on there that says American Business Systems. You can put the Merma logo on there. You can put your logo all over it. The only little thing about that little three ring circle, their logo is just to bring it some consistency. That's all that's on there. Nothing on it, is, it says uh, American Business Systems on those at all. All right. So the other thing that you're getting here is coaching. Uh, now, this is through the Merma uh, site that you can see right here. You can see all the people that are there. Uh, obviously, you see Dr. Vicki Rackner up at the top. We have some of our business owners uh, that are on there that you can be able to speak with. And then there's some of those folks there that are technology partners there that are help you coach you along the way as well, especially if you're getting into it with a doctor that needs some HIPAA compliancy questions and answers, get through that, or you need some coaching on HIPAA compliancy. We've got that group of folks on there that will help you through that. So Merma is your, call it your cash, you know, everything that you need uh, there for your actual business, you know, in the real world out there showing everybody, that's what this is all about. And that's what Merma is all about. Plus the coaching that you're going to get, if you need some coaching, just call us up here. Call up Tim Warren over here and say, hey, Tim, I might be struggling a little bit. Can I get a coaching session with, find one of those people on there, uh, and then we're going to get that done for you. That's why we're here to help you. Because remember, folks, we're not asking you for any franchise fees. Uh, so this is a good time for me to share a little bit about how does ABS keep going on if we don't share in revenues or we're not sharing in any uh, anything like that. Folks, the way that we... ABS continues to make money is whenever you are making money, but we're not getting that from you. You see all those different uh, technology partners that we had there, wherever it's virtual care or HIPAA compliancy or um, 
any of the other services there. When you're utilizing those, those companies actually are paying ABS pennies on the dollar on the back end, just just slightly above, because what it's doing is driving more business to them, and they're they're sharing what they get as new people on their systems or anything else. That's how we're making money on the back end. We never collect anything from you. We never come back and ask you for uh, any of your revenue share. When you're doing your billing, let's say for six, 7%, that's 100% of your money. None of that money ever comes back to ABS. So that's the beauty of how this model, again, keeps it a low cost business model for you. All right, so I better speed this up because I'm going to run out of time if I don't. So I want to take a little bit of time to, for those that have, you're just getting into this, you're trying to figure out what really is medical billing, because what if I don't know anything about medical billing? And what if I don't know anything about how this is supposed to work? And can I really learn this without going to school or anything like that? So let's let's kind of just do that real briefly. So, so let's just talk about what medical billing is. So once a doctor will see their patients, there are two ways in which that doctor can get paid. Obviously, they can get paid by the patient cash, that'd be what you would call a cash pay patient, or they're going to get paid by the insurance. So obviously doctors don't want to get paid. I mean, see patients and not get paid for their service. Who wants to be, it'd be like you doing billing and you're just doing billing for a doctor and you never get paid. Obviously a doctor wants to get paid. So how does the doctor collect from the patient or how does that doctor collect from insurance? Well, the medical billing is the process of either filing those medical claims to get the health insurance companies to make sure that those doctors get paid. That's your Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Aetna, Cigna's, Medicare, traditional Medicare, all the Medicare Advantage plans that are out there. That's what you're going to be able to do. Plus, if the doctor really needs some help collecting from their patients, that's where some of our other services will come into play right there. But you might, might be thinking, but what about those codes? What, who, what am I supposed to do with these codes? Uh, someone just told me that if I'm thinking about getting into this, I better know all the codes. Well, first of all, let's put that myth to rest. It's the doctor's responsibility to provide you, the medical billing company, the proper medical codes. That's who they are because... Folks, I mean, obviously, there's going to be some doctors that just take notes and they probably give it to somebody who is a coder. And then the, that person has to read the doctor's notes and understand codes enough to go, oh, this doctor is going to provide this diagnosis code because of this patient. And then the procedure code is going to be this. And But the doctors don't typically do that. And matter of fact, if they're using a platform like ours, I claim, and they're and they're doing their their uh, uh, electronic medical records inside of like EMRX, it's going to provide the doctor the, their codes anyway. So well, let's talk about codes here real quickly. Medical codes are just the numbers that the insurance uses to pay claims. And there's two types of codes. There's what's, what's called the diagnosis code. That's what's wrong with you as the patient. Then there's the procedure code. This is what the doctor has done for the patient. It's that number that is that gets tied to some type of money. How what what how what is it gonna what are we gonna reimburse that doctor for? Did they see that patient for 10 minutes? Did they see that patient for 20 minutes? Did they see that patient for 45 minutes? That's those codes there. And that's what how the doctors get reimbursed upon upon that. All right. So uh let's kind of go through a couple of things here. In-house billing challenges, just real quickly. Uh first of all, if a doctor is doing in-house billing, remember, I told you, Dr. Vicki Ragnar always tells her doctors, don't do in-house billing. Get that outsourced. See that out there. The first thing is some challenge is a lack of quality and effective medical billing resources. Folks, you're going to have all of the resources. Remember, all those different services that I've mentioned to you already, you're going to already have that. Second thing is the trouble to stay up to date with the latest guidelines. Again, there's two ways of getting all those updated. Either you're going to try to put them in your computer system as uh, patches to your system or the latest codes. You're going to have to upload those, especially if you're if you're trying to run a more of like, like a server based type of software. That's going to be your responsibility to keep up with all the new codes and have them up download and then upload those into your system. That can be a challenging in our system, all of that's always updated all the time on the back end. You never have to worry about it. But then what about things that happen in the medical world? 
this is where, again, ABS is monitoring that. We are always pushing out new uh, training courses out there to say, hey, this is no longer going to be paid with this particular code anymore. You're going to want to watch this because now it's, you're going to have to use this code to, to make sure that your doctors get paid. That's what we're doing with our training. That's how we get to keep state up. Frequent changes of codes, so and you can see that that increases claim denial. And then lastly, late handling of denied or rejected claims. This is the killer for most doctor's offices. Just getting what claims that have been pushed out, those that have been denied or rejected by any means, sometimes those get handled, sometimes they don't. That's lost revenue happens all the time. But but you as a medical billing company, remember, you're getting paid on a percentage of what you help that doctor collect. So obviously, you're going to try to get as much as you can to get make sure that that doctor gets paid. So kind of a little quick breakdown here. You see the cost of if a doctor is doing in-house billing, obviously, they got to hire these folks. They got payroll taxes. They got workers' comp insurance, errors and emission insurances. If they got some training costs that go along with that, uh, and then you just get down to their their business package, then you got IT hardware, software support. You just take all that down. That could be about a hundred grand for like you see here for one and a half people. Uh, however, if you took those same amount of claims that this one and a half person would do, and you had it outsourced, you could see that it could cost the doctor fifty four thousand instead of ninety five thousand. That's half, basically half. <laughs> of what their current costs are. Plus, they're going to get some more out of it. So the advantages of outsourcing, especially through somebody like us here at ABS, we've got all the different services. We have all the advantage of having, a, a again, a software that is a cloud-based software. It's 100% integrated. It's definitely there to help increase the revenue. One of the great things, folks, it's 100% U.S.-based customer service. It, nothing goes overseas on, on, on anything. There's not nothing wrong with that. But again, most of everything is done here in the U.S. space for service. Some other out, advantages of outsourcing, that it streamlines the entire medical billing process. Everything from the patient scheduling, again, to collections here. Uh, it also boosts profitability due to the focus effort by you. Because remember, you're not going to let anything slip through the cracks there. Because your pay is dependent upon how much the doctor gets paid. That's one of those areas that's very helpful. It reduces the amount of claims rejections because again, if a claim does get rejected, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna follow up immediately. You're not gonna let anything fall through the cracks. So again, instead of having a doctor trying to figure out how they're gonna go back and recoup money that was lost because of rejections or anything else, this is how we help you stay focused. We keep these doctors going. Again, if you were to see it from end to end, this is what I kind of like to see our end to end uh, view of how our system works. And it's all integrated. Everything's integrated, including our integration into the insurance companies because of what you see there in the middle called our clearinghouse. As far as we still know, our iClaim EMRX platform is the only platform out there that's a cloud-based cl uh, software that is its own clearinghouse as well. Somebody might tell you that that's probably not a good idea. We think it's the best idea because again, it connects everything all together. So the patient logs in from their home through the patient portal, selects that they want to go see their doctor. They can put in all of their information. They don't have to fill out any paperwork when they get to the doctor's office. It goes directly into the doctor's EMRX system here. The doctor sees his patient or her patient all of the codes are already in there. As soon as that patient is through seeing the doctor, the doctor clicks finishing up his notes or her notes, it goes directly into iClaim. At that point, then you're able to do the billing. You can many times get the claim out the door before the patient even gets into the car. And then at that point, it's gonna go through our clearinghouse. If there are any errors in there, you will know instantaneously that it's gonna happen. If, if it happens, it's gonna happen there at the clearinghouse level not outside of it, like a third party clearinghouse level, which you might have to wait an hour or two or or maybe even 24 hours before you get noticed that you got a claim rejection at the clearinghouse. Ours is instantaneously. So that you know that once it goes through our clearinghouse, the likelihood of that claim getting paid is like 98%. That's how high it is. That's the advantage of having 
uh, what we have here. And plus all of the different services that you're seeing here, the virtual care, audit guard, all of these different services. Now, again, as I kind of start wrapping up here, again, you're going to have all of the, the pros for outsourcing. Again, this is a little bit uh, larger the copy of the iClaim uh, flyer. You can kind of see it a little bit better. It's got some nice bullet points there. Uh, and you can see where it says, contact us for your pre-practice analysis. That's on every one of our flyers you can see here, including CodeWrite. So let's talk about these real quickly. CodeWrite and AuditGuard are a service of certified professional coders. Now, when people start out in medical billing, it's good for them to have a resource of a certified professional coder. We already have that immediately. If you've got a doctor who needs uh, help because they are they they got some codes that they need to re look over, our, our code right service will help them that, with that. If a doctor may be going through an audit and they need to see if their audit is correct, we can take those, those same doctors and audit all of their charts as well. That's what these two services are about. That is for you right outside the gate whenever you start here with American business systems. HIPAA compliancy. Again, you've heard me say this all along. And folks, to me, it, you're here at the end of the year. You're going in the first part of the year. Let me tell you a secret. Doctors that are in the, going into January, February, they have to, through March, they have to make sure all of their HIPAA compliancy rules, their manuals are all up to date. They've got all their people trained and retrained in that. This is not. This is the best time of the of the time of the of the season for you to kind of get going. If you want to get a doctor, you want to get your foot in the door. I would certainly utilize HIPAA compliancy to help you with that. Choice pay again. Deductibles are about to start all over. Uh, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for patients to maybe wonder do they go see their doctor right now because they can't afford it. Uh, Choice Pay gives these doctors an opportunity to present to their, their people a, a way to kind of pay over time without having to put it on a credit card, but it gets them uh, going there to make sure that the doctor gets paid. And then Quick Collect, if the doctor has some outstanding accounts receivables, this is a better way instead of sending someone to a collection agency, this way is a much preferred different way, uh, a better way in helping those doctors collect what they have in collections. All right. So you remember I mentioned earlier about the practice analysis questionnaire. I think this has actually grown to four, maybe even five pages long, but didn't want to just crunch all of those in there. But it's just questionnaire. So once you've got a doctor that's you're engaged, you, you maybe you've gotten your foot in the door with HIPAA compliancy. One of the things they said, well, tell me about this practice analysis. You start that practice analysis. What it's going to do is help you produce some information that you're going to want to put into what's called the practice revenue report. This is where you, you, folks, you, 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 if you're thinking about making soup or chili or baking a cake, you're putting all of your ingredients in and then poof, you put it in the oven and, and out comes a cake. Okay, so this is what you're doing. So think of the practice uh, analysis or all your different ingredients, okay? This is your recipe for your, your getting your first doctor. So you're pulling all that information, you're pulling everything off the shelf, and you kind of put it, I mean, you put it in this report and as you can see here, I'm going to blow this up a little bit bigger on the next screen here. So this was one that was actually done with one of our business owners. Uh, they found out that this doctor was average number of claims filed per month were about 300. The average claim amount was about $100 per claim. The rejection rate was at 25%. Now, folks, let that sink in. Remember that that earlier I, I mentioned to you about the New England uh, Journal of Medicine that 24 cents out of every dollar was being wasted. Here it is, 25% of uh, re claims that were rejected or uncollected claims somehow. They had a monthly uh, collection of about 25, 22,500 a month. Uh, they paid their billing staff. And you can see out of all of that, you kind of bring all that down that the doctor's office was collecting on the bottom line, about 17.5. You can see that. Now, you take out the 25% rejection rate, you, you put in hours, which is about 2%, and that is going to start adjusting all of this down, including the cost for your services, okay? This is the cost, in, including your services. You can see that the cost of your services taken out of it, there's the doctor can expect 27,702. 
Okay. So you can see that that's an increase of over $10,000 more a month in revenue. That's a 58.3% increase. Now, let me ask you, if you were trying to tell, convince a doctor to use you in your services and they saw that you could create $10,000 more a month, do you really think that you're selling anything? That's that's what, that's what we're getting to because you're not really, again, having to sell anything. Uh, I'm going to go through these real quickly. You've got the experts behind you. Uh, the, the Myth of the Rich Doctor book is available to you by PDF. You can get that. But you see this, this letter here in the middle. This letter, because we know this, doctors tend to listen to other doctors. And, and if a doctor refers some another doctor some services, they're typically wanting to listen. This is another thing that we help you get your foot in the door. How about if we have Dr. Vicki Rackner write you a letter on your behalf to include some of these books, whether it's the nine ways doctors let money slip through the finger or the new thriving medical practice that kind of goes along with that letter, introducing you and your services. And plus, remember, with the new thriving medical practice, not only was it written by Patrick Phillips and Dr. Vicki Rackner, but you are the one that's on the front cover of the book as the one that wrote the forward. And yes, yes, it's your name. And as you can see there on this next one, you can see that it's forwarded by Susan Smith, CMRN. Obviously, that would be your name that goes there, but that means that you're a certified medical revenue manager. And folks, when you're presenting a doctor with a letter, a reference letter from a doctor, along with this book to help them educate themselves, this is how we help you get that first doctor. Folks, we're about three minutes from the top of the hour or less. And I want to share with you, we, we've gone through a lot of information. What I've also done, everything that I've shown you today is in a PDF. Your, your business coach that you're working with here can go get that, retrieve it, and get that to you. So if you want to go back and watch this later, you'll be able to do that. But let me end with this. Folks, we were, we're trying to take the most risk out of everything for you. We're actually taking the thir first 30-day risk. Yes, what you're going to have to do is fill out your paperwork. You're going to have to go ahead and fund your business, to, like it says, at 28990 And then you got 30 days to still make up your mind. Unlike any business opportunity or franchise out there, when you sign that paperwork, it, it would take you attorneys and more money. You would, you would care and sleepless nights to try to get your money back. But we want to give you a 30-day trial test here. We want you to go through that training because remember, that training is only going to take you maybe 10 to 15 days at the most. And it still leaves you enough time to try to figure out, is this really the business that I want to be a part of? Do we give money back? We have. It wouldn't be any value if, if we didn't end up giving money back because there are the times that, there, that, that, has, that has happened. But typically, most people, once they've gone through all of their due diligence with us here on the front end, and they've gone through training because they've, they've taken this leap here and said, yes, I want to take that, that uh, opportunity. And knowing that ABS is taking a risk on that, uh, to knowing that we could you could be asking for your money back on day 29. So, so folks, we're here. We're not here to, again, nickel and dime you on the front end or throughout the process. We want to give you everything that you're going to need to help you be successful from the very beginning. So what are your next steps? Well, again, I want you to go out and get a research guide. That's different from the five secrets that I mentioned to you earlier. Again, just ask your business coach here to make sure they get you the link to the research guide. I mentioned to you several times about our YouTube channel. You can go to youtube.com forward slash YABS and you can see all the past webinars that we've done, especially those that I've just done here recently. You're not going to want to miss those. Then start talking to people that are already business owners. Don't listen to me. Don't worry about anybody else, even your business coach. Ask them for that reference list. We're wanting you to have an opportunity to visit with folks right now that have already been where you're sitting. Now, the next thing I want you to do is set up a time. Some of you are brand new. You haven't done this yet. Get with your business coach. Not only ask them for that PDF of the uh, myth of the rich doctor, but set up a time where they can take you through a live demonstration of the software. Because remember, this is what's going to help you get your doctor once you get them through the practice analysis. So make sure that you get that done. Then fill out, read the, the, the purchase agreement, get that completed, get your funding in. Folks, we, we know that we're going to be going up on price here at the end of the year, first part of next year. 
So make sure that you can get in here uh, while it's still $28,990 and get that done. And I'm not pressuring you in here. Folks, if you need a little bit more time, just let us know. We're sure there's something we can work out. But then get your funding so we can get your training going. And, and folks, again, I'm telling you, I think you would have a great success here with American Business Systems, not be simply because I'm a little prejudiced about it and biased about it, but I've been there too. I've had two medical billing companies that I've had. Uh, I've gone out there and gotten my own clients myself. Uh, it can be done. If I can do it, I know that you can do it. It's just knowing who you are and being confident in yourself uh, and then trusting the system that American Business System has. Call us here at 866-565-8413 or info at absystems.com. All right, so let me finish up here by just telling you, I want to tell you thank you. Uh, look, folks, next week is Thanksgiving. And um, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you folks out there in the world of looking to get started in a billing uh, or a business opportunity. And plus, those that are business owners already, folks, this is this is why we do what we do. We are a family here. Once people become a uh, part of ABS, you become family. And so from the ABS family to you, we want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving, at least for me. I want to tell you that because truly I enjoy uh, spending these Wednesdays with you every week. It's it's a great hour of my life to be able to communicate, help other people. That's all I've wanted to do in my, my life to, to help you out. Somebody's asking me if there are any Christmas discounts. You can certainly ask your business coach. I don't know of any, but you can certainly do that. Uh, Craig says, thanks for answering my questions. As a follow-up, I work full-time with limited time in the day to take calls or explain products. Uh, the sales agreement that ABS provides will, uh, will these reps or customer service, customer support do the portion of the business. Yeah. So if you've got, if you, we've had a lot of people, Craig, that have done this part-time. So if you might want to do is get with your business coach and out of the references that we have, you might want to find one or two of those that did this part-time as they kind of got started. That'd be a great opportunity to kind of have a kneecap to kneecap talk with somebody that's a business that's already doing this already. Uh, I kind of did that part-time. I knew how to do it. So uh, I know that it can be done. So yeah, you can do that. Uh, Richard says, I do not have a business coach to reach out to. How do I get in touch with one? Uh, call the number 866 866- 565-8413. Richard, just call that number. Somebody will help you. If it just goes to a voicemail, because it may be after hours, somebody will give you a call shortly after that. Also, all these recorded are on here, so we'll make sure that you find somebody there. Again, folks, thank you for this afternoon. I appreciate your time. Uh, I think I might be out of town next week. I don't know if I'm going to be in, uh, be able to do this, but if I don't see you next week, I'll follow up with you the following week after that. And again, I'm going to bring out that whole section of the five successes, the five pieces of success. I've come out what it's called there already. Uh, but you're, I'm going to go through that in, in a lot of detail. So make sure that you get that, get that downloaded. Don't forget about the book I told you about. Get that demo done. Start talking to some references. And then I'll see you guys uh, in, a, in a week or so. Have a great week, weekend. And uh, y'all have everybody have a good night. Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm.